that's it. That was Demon Souls. The original game that started it all. Alright, I'm gonna do like a really quick review. It's more of just a a comparison to how I, I felt when the when I first played this game years ago. Um I think this game still holds up really well. Um it uh, it's still just as good as any other Souls games. I mean, it's missing some of the mechanics that you found in Dark Souls, like jumping and stabbing downward when you're falling from a cliff or something like that. The graphics aren't exactly uh, the greatest, but like, I mean, in all honesty, they, honesty, they're not all that much different either. Um, you know, they're, all the other Souls games are just kind of like marginal improvements. Um, my only real criticism is just the technical issues. I think that uh, the the bugs and crap are just the biggest drawback of the game, but that's just a technical issue. It doesn't look like it's ever going to be patched. Um, you know, there's sound glitches, and the online is just... It works whenever it feels like working. Um, and there's also some major slowdown um, in level 2-2. Everywhere else, it's not too bad. Like, there's some slowdown sometimes, but it's not too bad. Um, the only other thing, if I'm going to nitpick it, is luck is kind of useless, so I don't even know why they have a stat called luck. I mean, it just affects, I think, your drop rates and stuff. That's about it. And just the general esoteric nature of the game. Tendency is, is crap. I mean, it's kind of interesting. It's kind of neat how this is the only Souls game to have Tendency. But there's a good reason why they removed it from all the other games, you know, because it's just too much a pain in the ass to manipulate it. Most of the cool NPCs, you never get to meet them, but I guess in that way you can also look at it a different way. Like, you get a preview, they tease you with the NPCs in all of the load screens, which is a cool way of uh, introducing you to them. Um, and then you're kind of left wondering how you can get them, but the way to find them is, like, very, very obtuse and very hard to do sometimes. I mean, you really have to spend a lot of time with the game in order to find some of those things uh, and to get some of those really rare items. Um, that's pretty much it. I mean, you know, when the game first came out, it was really revolutionary in that it created the entire Souls series and created Souls-like games, uh, lots of imitators, um, and for good reason, because this game is just amazing. It, my, in my opinion, it is probably the hardest game in the series. Just because it, it debilitates you so much when you're in undead form. But that's actually kind of a cool thing, in a way, because there's actually an incentive to being in your mortal human form. Whereas in Dark Souls 1, let's face it, most people almost never resurrected, except unless they wanted to, you know, uh, summon some NPCs. Not NPCs, summon some, some friends to help them. Uh, but that was about it. In this game, you're constantly resurrecting yourself. Dark Souls 2 brought back that mechanic in a, you know, a slightly more accessible form, but this one was definitely the most punishing. Um, but near the end of the game, I actually do think the game is easier because you just have so many health items. Like, because you can get so many souls by farming uh, that one level was at 4-2 or whatever. Um, and then you can get all this, all the health items you want. But in the beginning of the game, it's much harder. The Estus Flask mechanic is uh, a lot more accessible in the beginning of the game. But in the late game, yeah, Demon Souls is probably easier. So that's all I gotta say. It's a wonderful game and it still holds up today. I think it's fantastic. Thank you.